Welcome everyone to a different type of episode for our Destiny 2 full playthrough for Beyond Light, gearing up for new lights. Um, today what we're going to talk about is actually a little bit on third party applications. And this will include things like Destiny Item Manager for managing your gear, vault, all sorts of things. Checking databases for weapon rolls using light.gg. And another one called Braytech just to kind of give you another way to look at different quests or other things like clan organization, things like that. So what I have up on your screen is the Destiny Item Manager. So if you Google Destiny Item Manager, log in with your Steam credentials, Xbox, whatever, you'll be directed to a site that looks like this. In a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like on my main account in comparison to this account. So right now, when you first log in, you'll be able to see all of your gear for your character and what they have equipped. So their primary slot, secondary slot, heavy slot, all of your gear, all the way down through Sparrow, Ghost, everything, emblems, all of that stuff, including your inventory. Now this main screen, this allows you to transfer stuff from your main character into your vault. So this is the storage that you might have noticed is down on the tower. I haven't gone there yet because I know Dim exists. So I haven't really been using it. But for an example, if I didn't want this particular escape velocity on my character, but I needed the inventory space, you can see here I'm only I'm two slots away from being full. What I would do is take this, drag it over, and drop it in the vault. Now that has left my character and is now in the vault in the game. This all happens in real time. There can be a delay depending on if there's a lot of calls being done on the server. So just, you know, if it doesn't transfer right away, be patient. You can do that at any time when you are not currently in a game. And what I mean by that is you can't directly take an item and equip it to you while you are logged into an activity. So if you're doing a strike or a PVP match, you can't equip weapons on your character from this screen. You can still drag them from your vault to your character, but you'll physically have to go into your character screen to swap the weapon from there. So if you've ever watched somebody or you've watched me live on stream and I pull a weapon, it flashes up the top corner and then I go in my inventory and put it on. That's what happens. It's being transferred from Destiny Item Manager on my other computer and I'm sending it to my character. Now, I'll show you on the, my other screen. You can actually manage between characters as well. So if you want to transfer weapons to one or the other, you can do that. What I want to show, just a few key features of this that kind of helps out people when you start getting into the nitty gritty of Destiny. So, your character here, if you click this drop down, it'll give you a bunch of different options here at the top. You can create loadouts. I don't have any loadouts, usually because I have really specific stuff and I just pull them over. I don't bother with loadouts, I just build as I go. It'll show you your maximum power level. You can also use this to equip your maximum power level. So if I didn't have my max power level equipped right now, I could click this and say maximize my power level. Now what the game does automatically and what Dim does is it transfers all of your highest power items and then equips them on that character. So it doesn't matter if it's on a different character, in the vault, anything. It'll transfer them over, drop them on that character. Now when you go down here, you can randomize your weapons. So if you want to have some fun and randomize, don't do that very much. <laughs> Farming mode, so it'll make space in your inventory. You can see here, it'll show you all the different versions. So your maximum power total, your maximum equipable gear power, which is total of all of your gear, what the max power you are is. And then it'll show you your artifact power level. So how much progression you have on the artifact, giving you bonus power levels. Here is your build. This will show you all the different options you have for your mobility, Resilience, Recovery, Discipline, Intellect, and Strength. As you scroll, you can see you can transfer everything. Your gauntlets, boots, bonds, anything. You can't transfer emblems. They will not transfer to Vault. They will not transfer to other characters. Because they're kind of like a one-time use item on that specific character. If you pull it from your collections, you delete it, pull a new one. Pretty simple. Some items from your inventory can be transferred and some cannot. So keep that in mind. If you try to drag something over and it doesn't let you do it, you can't. I'm not sure if there is anything that actually does right now in this character that allows, but I think I can transfer everything on this character. 
But in my other character, there's lots that can't actually be transferred. So a couple more key features here. If you go into progress. So progress, you can see here your ranks, milestones, bounties, quests, quest items, raids. If you've completed any of the raids or which encounters you've completed. Triumphs and seals. So as you're scrolling down here, you can actually use this to get a bit more of an idea for specifics of how many things you need to do. So some quests will give you a number or a, a percentage progression. But if you actually click onto it, some of them will actually give you something specific. So like uh, you need a thousand kills with this gun or something. It'll give you the specifics for that in this area. In the raid section here, if you're going to do any of the raids, it'll tell you which encounters you've completed as you've done them as well. Triumphs, this gets a little a little crazy. You can use a few different... Uh, we'll show you with Braytech, another way to use these. I don't really use it that much in here. Seals in here, you can actually see all the different requirements for the seals. And again, I'll show you in Braytech how to do this as well. But for an example, if we were going to look at uh, the new one, which is... Looks like it says Arrivals here, but we know what that actually is called. So this will show us which ones we need to go and complete as we go through the the season vendor vendors are really important tab i use this one all the time so remember this tab exists if you need to know what equipment zur has we haven't talked about zur yet so we'll talk about it now zur is a vendor in destiny that shows up from friday until tuesday's reset and he brings exotic goods so you need a specific amount of legendary shards, which is why we haven't gone and visited them yet. I only have like 13 shards. I don't have enough to actually do. You can see that in the corner here, 13 shards. So I need 23 in order to buy something. But right now, my character being a warlock, I can't get these because I don't have Forsaken. I could get the grenade launcher, the colony, but I'm going to hold off on that. Zer also sells... An exotic engram that when you buy decrypts into something you don't have now it will always start out with either weapons or gear and once you have all of the randomly acquirable exotic weapons you are guaranteed to get an armor piece you do not have that is the one of the best ways to seek out missing exotics when you're first starting out that one sells i believe for 97 shards so if you have enough shards go pick that up every week Fill in spots on your character's inventory so you can start getting more of the newer exotics or different roles on exotics you're looking for. Now, when you scroll down here, you can see all of the different things offered by all of the vendors. One thing that's on here that it doesn't show right now because there isn't a specific vendor that has this right now is what's called the plus zero vendor. We're going to be getting into that when we start getting into the thousand power level. Um, I'll start talking about the plus zero vendors, but what they are is a vendor... When they, when they are currently in Destiny, there will be an engram beside their name. And that's this little symbol here. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Um, it'll be here by their name. It'll be bright green. They are a plus zero vendor. So if you go and hand in anything to them, the items that drop will drop at your current gear score level. Not your overall power level, just the top gear score level. So if you need a piece of armor, you could potentially go see that plus zero vendor and fill in some of the holes in your inventory. But again, we're going to cover that a little bit later when we actually get to it. But in case you start playing around with Dim and see that, you'll know what a plus zero vendor is. So this, this is a great screen to see what bounties are up if you want to. Uh, one thing I do use this for a lot is for Spider. I don't know if we can see Spider with this account. So we might have to try the other one. Yes, I don't see him on here. We probably haven't done the introduction quest with Spider yet. So I'll show you on the other screen for spider inventory. We'll come back to that. Um, collections on this. This will show you all of the... If you wanted to see what exotics or anything you're missing. Again, Braytech also does this. A little bit fancier as well. But if you want a quick and quick way to go look at them, you can see them in here as well. Any armor, all of that stuff. Anything you want to see will be in here. I don't know necessarily use the loadout optimizer or the organizer. So I don't really have a lot to say regarding those. Going back to the main inventory here. You do have a bunch of loadouts and everything, or uh, all of the same overheads here at the side. You can also change accounts here if you need to. Normally we don't need to, but if you need to log out as well, you can log out there. 
So we're going to switch over to my main account and I'll show you the difference between this one and that one. So as you can see on this account, I have three full active characters. Each with uh, different varying power levels. The vault very full, as you can see. This is scaled down. Usually I sit around almost 500, but with weapon sunsetting, I've actually deleted quite a bit of weapons and armor out of my character's inventories. One thing you'll notice here that was different than my other account is the postmaster side. So if you have any engrams, so here I have two umbel engrams on my hunter, in your inventory or anything at the postmaster, it will show up here. So if you refresh the page and you have something that you need to pick up at your postmaster, it'll be sitting in here. So this will give you a bird's eye view of if you need to pick anything up. And do keep in mind, if you're going to store stuff in your postmaster, if it overfills, it will delete stuff. So do not overfill your postmaster. Keep up on what's on your postmaster. So you can see at the top here, we have all of our different materials, different amounts of stuff we have in the vault as well. If I was going to transfer something from one character to another, it's as simple as clicking the weapon and dragging it over, dropping it, and it transfers to that weapon live in game. Same thing from Vault, drag it over. So you can see as we go down, you can have quite a bit of stuff in your inventory. So having an organization system like this available is quite beneficial in the long run when you start really digging into the game. So you can see I do have more materials available here. Some of these can go in my post into the Vault and some can't. So for an example, uh, shards do not allow me to transfer them to the Vault. So those have to stay in our inventories. Shaders can transfer, but I mean, really delete them and pull them again. Not a big deal from your collections. We were talking about the vendor. So we'll go here to show you uh, the difference for using when you have access to Spider. So Spider is a unique vendor because you can trade in legendary shards or materials and glimmer for other materials, shards, all of those things. So if you keep an eye right now, right now he's selling simulation seeds and etheric spiral for shards as well as dusk light so if you needed any of those materials or wanted to stock up for the next season you can go spend one shard and get a bunch of materials now then you can take those materials and hand them in to the plus zero vendor if they're available to get more loot so there is those options as well so keep that in mind using spider for material gaining is very efficient considering every time you delete a legendary you get a bunch of shards from it anyway so Keep that in your back pocket. You might use it one day. Beyond that, everything else in here is pretty much the same. As you can see on this account, I can pick up the Phoenix Protocol. If you have Forsaken, I would pick this up. It's very good. <laughs> this video will go live Monday, so you'll have uh, pretty much the night to go pick that one up uh, on the, what is it, the 29th. So let's transfer back over here and we will check out our first website we're going to utilize. And that'll be light.gg. So here, light.gg, if you just type this into any search engine, it'll pop up for you. Light.gg site you can use to actually check out different weapons. Anything being uh, from the current season, anything that's, you know, you get killed by a weapon, you're like, ah, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a death adder. I'm going to look that up. And you can come here and say, oh, there it is. Or you can, you know, type it in the search bar. And when you click on it, It'll take you to its exact descriptions on the website. So you can go through. Death Adder, lightweight frame. Okay, cool. Here's its weapon stats. So these are good to know if you're going to be doing any builds with them. In addition to that, there's curated role, which I don't know if this one actually does have a curated role. This might just be a placeholder for this site. But down here is where the, is where the money happens. So this is the random role section for all of the weapons that are, that are in Destiny. Every weapon is different, somehow the same roles, somehow very wildly different roles. So for an example, on this gun for Death Adder, my personal favorite role for this, if I was going to use it for uh, PvP, would be something like Dynamic Sway Reduction, Quick Draw, or Range Fighter. In addition to that for PvE, I would say definitely Subsistence and maybe Dragonfly. That might be kind of fun on a, uh, on a submachine gun. In addition to that, you'll look at the magazine perks here. So a pen mag gives you a plus 20 to your magazine. And then also the barrels down here on the side. 
So light.gg is a database site that you can use to check out the roles of weapons for Destiny itself. So if you went into here, you went through and you said, I want to see the new weapons for this season. You click on here and it'll take you to a list of all of the new weapons currently that were added to Destiny this season. So another one would be Truth Teller. So let's say we needed a new grenade launcher, which we are going to be pursuing this on the free to play account as tube grenade launchers are super great for PVP for myself. We can look at this, say, yep, there it is, and scroll down and find the roles here. Personally, quick draw and all loading holster would be the way to go on this gun for me. Uh, beyond that, multi kill clip could be fun. I have a multi kill clip auto loading holster one on my main account, or even demolitionist to get your grenade back on kills. In addition to that, spike grenades or proximity would be extremely useful as well. So that's where you can kind of come in and look at the roles and see what potentially is on these guns coming. Uh, every new season the last site we're going to touch on uh, for this episode is going to be Braytech. so i've logged in on Braytech. you can do the same thing the same login you did before to use dim Braytech is another version of a, a database access site so it runs through destiny's api and you can actually use it similar to how you would use your collections inventory and your triumphs inventory in destiny so if we went into Triumph Sphere, we can actually see all of the titles and seals that are currently available to us. The red ones here are the ones that are potentially going away in September. So if you were going to focus any specific titles, I would maybe consider taking a look at those four. In addition to that, you can click on these and it'll direct you to the actual title and you can see what you have to complete. Now, this can be more specific in some instances than it shows uh, in game so in game sometimes it will just give you a percentage to complete this tells you exactly zero out of 100 i believe in game it does say 100 as well but in case you do see some that have percentages you can get exact numbers here same thing if there's any triumphs you're looking for you can scroll through here and find them as well collections same way this works just like destiny's uh, ui for the uh, for the collections so for exotics, if you wanted to go in and see which exotics you still needed, you could click in here. It'll take you to this page and you can separate them just like we do on the Destiny's UI and see them all laid out there nice and pretty. So if you're a little bit more of a visual person and you don't just want to deal with a little block telling you what it is, but actually see the name beside the item, this is a, this is a fantastic site for that. In addition to this, there's lots of other options you can do. There's interactive maps. So if you needed to know how to get somewhere or find something in Destiny, you can do it here. All of the different quests that are available, the hidden chests. This will show you locations and some of them too. Let's go to uh, Dreaming City because it's an extremely complex location. Some of them will actually have videos as well. So if you need to find the egg, it'll say screenshot and available, but you can actually click here and it'll direct you to a YouTube video showing you how to get to that specific egg in the Dreaming City. Or any of these as well so if you need to find something this is one way you can find it as well in addition to that if you go through the checklist option and you want to see where this is let's say we're looking for region chest one um, from the rapture we can click this arrow button and it's going to direct us and highlight it for us on the map so now you know I need to get to this chest oh that kind of looks familiar and you go to the location or you can click on it this one, unfortunately, doesn't have a video, but if you jump around this area, you might be able to find this location pretty easy. I kind of have an idea where that one is. So that's something that uh, Braytech here also does extremely well. I've used this a bunch of times when trying to complete different lore books for some of the titles, going through and seeing, oh, I need this one. You can find where this lore location is specifically. Another option you can do here is actually look in your clans so you can see what your current clan level is. Yes, this is low. I'm the only person playing in this clan. So my other one, very different story. <laughs> and you can see all of your current active members when they logged in and any scores that are available for them. So all of these websites are fantastic. They're all free to use. You can jump in and see exactly what they offer. If you're not currently using Destiny Item Manager, there is another option you can do, which is Ishtar Commander. You can also do something similar to this right through Bungie's website. Personally, I think Dim and Ishtar Commander work a little bit better 
They're a little more um, user friendly. In addition to that, uh, Destiny Item Manager Dim also has a beta version where they push out some of their new changes quicker so people can test it and send them feedback. So if you are interested in checking those out, go for it. Beyond that, I'll try to make sure I throw these websites in the link down below the video so you can go and check them out for yourself. But thank you guys for hanging out for this installment, checking out the third party apps available for Destiny to help you be a more efficient guardian. So don't go to your vault. Use Destiny Item Manager. You can put it on your tablet, you can put it on your phone. Use one of those. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to jump off here. Have a fantastic time in Destiny. And if you guys have enjoyed the content, please smash the hell out of the like button and subscribe for future content. Have a good one. Come drop by on twitch.tv slash reckonerdex when I'm live. We'll see you guys in the next one.